Hey everyone, and welcome back to another episode of the Let's Play series. Today, we are going to expand our ferry network for at the Jonathan Resorts Ferry Pier. So I'm going to show you the proposal that I made on Discord. If you're not in the Discord, please go join it, because there you can get instructions on how to join this Let's Play server. But on there, we also have chats to post our proposals that we can use before we actually build something so that everyone will know what's going on. So let me show you my proposal real quick. And it's going to start around the Jonathan's Resort area. So we're going to have multiple different ferry lines that go to different destinations in the future. So I'm just watching this ferry pull out and then I'm going to show you my plan on Discord. So this is a diagram. This is just a screenshot of the square map and I've labeled different destinations that I would want to go to. So let's take a closer look. This is the resort right here. The green line is what's already existing. It's a really short line just to the other side of the lake. Now I have some pretty ambitious goals here labeled 1 to 9. So number 9 to Oculus Center and number 6 to Belvedere have been crossed out because they've they've been deemed impossible because they cut through surface level railway crossing so for example this one there's no way to go underneath it with the boat because the train tracks are already at water level so those are off the table number one is hose bridge that's nemo station on the sightseeing extension number two is ocean line also known by owned by nemo and Lily as well. There's an interchange for one of her lines, I think. Number three is Bridge Bay, Proctor Bridge, or Precious Cove. So these three stations are pretty close to each other. Number four is not in service yet, so I'm not gonna think about that right now. Number five, Bamboo Hill, and number six is off, off the table. Number seven, Resort North Village, owned by T. I don't know if I'll work on that one right now. Number 8 is Bad Sand Beach, also owned by Her Light Rail System. And then number 9 is off the table. So what I think I'll do is I'll start with number 3 area. Or actually, maybe number 2. So... For number 3 and 5, these are owned by Lily, and she prefers to have these designed in the style of Bamboo Hill and Precious Cove. So we're going to leave those for now. Maybe start with number two. So number two is Ocean Line Station. Doesn't look that far on the map, but according to this one, we kind of have to snake through up north through the lavender stuff and then over here. Let's scout out the area a little bit in game first. So it seems like we have to cut through this narrow pass right here. Yeah, <laughs> this is really narrow for a boat. Then cut through here. Yeah, I was saying in the MTR quest video, if you haven't seen it, please go check it out. But like, especially for this part, like how am I supposed to fit the whole star fairy in? through here and then here we have big wide open ocean so that's the hardest part to get through in my opinion what is the station this is precious cove we're skipping that one for now and then we'll have to come underneath one of these that's not a problem and then go this way yeah, looking at the map again, keep going southwest until we until we get here. So it's not too bad, except that it's pretty narrow in one of those areas. So let's get to work. I'm just going to build this, I guess, single track for now. Is there an alternate route? Nope, that's cut off right there. Yeah, there's no alternate route, I suppose. Unless we cut through here maybe 
No, this side doesn't connect either. Another option is to dig a waterway, but I... I don't know, I just kinda sometimes don't feel like doing that. Just feels a bit messier to do that. So, with the addition of the 45 degree rail node, this has become slightly easier, I would say. Or 22.5 degree as well. Yeah, I'm still not sure if I need to make this single tracked or not. I think for now I'll make it single tracked. Just because there's like no space in here. Like, I have to be quite precise with how I place this stuff here. Because if I don't, like see, a curve like that would easily hit the sides. So maybe here. What about that? That's better. Which means we'll have to redo this part right here. See how it's challenging for the curve? You have to make micro adjustments, basically. And regarding the roots on the line, not entirely sure how I'll do that, but shouldn't be too bad. So yeah, right here. I feel like the boat will totally cut the edges here. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Hmm, what's an easy world edit command to clear this out? Why don't I just use the tunnel creator? Yeah, that's not half bad of an idea. So instead of making these weird turns, I'll just make a straight 45 degree path to cut through here. Maybe that would be better in the long run, I think. Yeah, so I just did a stack with world edit, stacking this 45 degrees. Hmm, it's not exactly 45 degrees though. Huh. So if I went further that way and stacked it 45, let's take a look again. So if I did make a 45 degree line, then I should probably start right about here. This is probably a better spot for a 45 degree segment. So stack probably 100. So that would look like a straight line this way. What about 150? Yeah, that's much better. And then we can turn over there. So since the widest tunnel creator tool is only nine blocks, we're probably going to have to do two different operations. All right, I connected some rails underwater and then now I'm gonna link them up using the tunnels. We'll see how that goes. And we'll also have to grab an axe to clean up some of these floating trees. I don't want to see these floating trees hanging around the sides. Not too many actually. Maybe this dirt island can also go Oh, the tunnel crater is actually not wide enough to cut down the middle as well, but no worries. That's why we have this middle part still intact. So I'm gonna cut this right now. I'm thinking the less S curves the better, because I just finished riding the Fairview Ferry Network, and one thing that I realize is that if the boats make S curves too quickly, it's gonna feel jerky, the ride. So the less sharp turns, the better. 
and I'm trying to use more gradual curves as as many gradual curves as possible just so that it feels smoother especially since it's such a big boat all right so that tunnel's going as well we gotta have to fix up these water sources hopefully they will fix themselves after we dig this part out and here hmm don't know how to clear this floating island except by doing it manually all right all right remove that floating island here maybe these extra grass blocks can go too and my tunnel digging progress is pretty good right now making pretty good progress kind of sad that we're destroying some of the terrain but, yeah. <laughs> it's much wider now. The last tunnel is still going, I think. Yeah, I don't know what the progress is. With this, which tunnel it's digging? Oh, it's digging this one right now. Yeah, that's the last tunnel. So after this, should be good to go. It's also destroying the water source blocks too. So I don't think this will automatically come together for an infinite water source. So I'm gonna have to grab a bucket and start right clicking. Or maybe a smarter way to do it is to use world edit, I suppose. Hmm. I also have to figure out where to put the rails. Here we'll also need a trench, just like that one, so that we don't have to cut through this part. But I think I'm gonna use world edit for this one because it seems easier to do. Okay, anyway, first step, let's fill up the water here. So I guess we can just do a uh, replace. Not too hard to do, I think. Um, this block, sure. Replace zero water. There we go. Instant canal filled. Okay, now where should we put the nodes? So this is is this wide enough for two-way travel? I'm not sure, actually. Maybe it's still only suitable for one way. Okay, just about counting the blocks to make sure that it's wide enough for the ferry. So the ferry is 13 blocks wide, and actually this is the end of it already. So this is about 16 blocks, which is not wide enough for two-way ferry travel. So it seems like we're gonna have to dig. Hmm. I don't want to do that, but I guess I will. All right, let's... Uh... I just wanna destroy as little of the terrain as possible, but I guess we'll do it. Okay, just doing some tests and this is the closest I can get the ferry to the edge of the canal. So it still overruns the middle line, which means we have to widen the tunnel a little bit, or widen the passage. And then for the other rail, how close can we get it? All right, that's pretty close. <laughs> Imagine these ferries going at high speed with so little clearance on each side. That's crazy. Hmm. There's actually not that many blocks that need to be cleared out. I just had an idea. Maybe we can use world edit actually to stack the air and air and water blocks so that we don't have to do the rail node stuff again. 
the tunnel creation. Okay, watch this. I just selected this little pillar right here. And then... Actually, no, I need to select from this block, probably. Yeah. So, watch this. Stack 20. No! That didn't work. Wait, it did. It did work, just not in the way I expected. Undo that. Okay, I selected here, this pillar right here. Okay, try again. Stack 20. There we go. Now this block now. Position 1. Position 2. Stack. Is that even working? It should be. Position 1. Position 2. Set 0 and stack. Yeah, we are widening the... This part slowly. Alright, just finished stacking, and then I'm gonna remove this little grass island here. Cool, now that is more like it. Chop down this tree as well. Alright. Cool. Now two fairies can fit through this part. Now we're gonna have to do the same thing for this vertical part as well. Okay. I would like to place down some some tracks first. Maybe. Okay, just making some outlines for where the tracks would go. I know this looks funny with all the nodes like this, <laughs> but it helps to kind of figure out the spacing between the the nodes and to the edges of the river and stuff. Okay, so now this part now. I think we have to measure out the width of the boats again. Oh, and this part is super narrow as well. Maybe it'll just be more practical to just make a waterway that cuts right down the middle here. Hmm, that's what I'm considering. Or this way horizontally, just cutting through this patch of land and coming out here. Yeah, I think that'd be easier to do. That'd be more practical, I think. Hmm. But I would want to go through this part. Don't want to cut through too much. I want to keep the terrain here. Okay, this is challenging, <laughs> to say the least. Alright, made a prototype again here. This is the width of two fairies surrounded by walls. So if I stack the same way, this, this part should be much easier to stack because it's a straight line. Stack all the way... Oh! <laughs> Plain. Okay, stack all the way to about here and then we can loop over there later. All right. So how many blocks deep do we make it over here? 
I think we did three blocks. It's also really shallow for boats in real life to travel across, by the way. Uh oh, I lost the boats. Where did it go? Right here. Three blocks is really shallow. But I think it's just right for these boats. Right? Yeah. Okay. So let's see. Alright, we're stacking now. Stack 200, maybe. 200 goes here. 300. 400? No, that's too much. Undo. Three fifty, maybe. No, that's still too much. Let's do three hundred first. This looks very artificial. Hmm. Okay, maybe if we cut out this sand island here, it might be better. But I don't want to do that yet. Okay, let's get rid of these trees. Okay, so for this part, I want to cut a smooth shape from one side to the other. Like that, kind of. Let me show you what I mean. I put a temporary track here. And I want to dig this area out. So it's going to be a smooth curve that goes around the island rather than following the shape of the canal. So I'm wondering if that will make it look better. And this is sand, so which means I probably have to do this tunnel two times. <laughs> this looks kind of fun. Okay, let's do it again. So the edge of the island will be this smooth curve right here. And then maybe we have to repeat this a couple of times. Over here. But I think the shape is better than if we try to force the canal this way. I don't know. Let's just try it and see. And we probably need a second tunnel again, for the same reason as earlier. Alright, it's looking good. Now, we're just gonna world edit out this area. Hmm, starting from... I think like here. This will be a pretty big cut. So set zero here. If all goes well, the water will all merge back together. Just delete this little area. Is the water not merging? Alright, well, the tunnel's done. And this little area in the middle can also be cut out now. Alright, did a bunch of cutting. And... This area is basically all cleared out now. Now I just have to fix the water. I guess I can leave this little island here. It's kind of harmless to what I'm doing. And I, oh, the infinite water is coming in. But I don't think it'll merge all the way though. Just, yeah. 
Gotta do another big world edit to replace all the water back here. All right. Cool, just some leftover trees here. But yeah, looks good, looks good. Oh, I hope I don't have to do this on the other side as well. That was really tedious. All right, just about connecting the rails here. Look at that. Straight, nice straight and smooth paths. All the way here. And now we can go on our merry way across the water to our destination. Okay, next we have to get through the Proctor Bridge. This is Proctor Bridge, right? Oh, there's a train right here. Using the New York Subway R211 trains, I think. Okay, I just put down a couple of rails here. It's almost the center of these pillars, but since these pillars are an even number of blocks apart, can't get it exactly to line up. Doesn't matter. So I put the rails here. Let's see how far I need to connect. Where was my temporary depot? Over there. Okay, so I need to go north, east. This way. Oh, we have to get around this landmass. And then there it is. Okay, not too bad, not too bad. Alright, just connected them. Let's take a look to see if it gets too close in the middle. Nope. I think two fairies can comfortably pass each other. Alright, I had to make them offset a little bit so that they wouldn't hit in the middle of the S-curve. And boom, all connected. Alright, so now that we're here at the bridge, after we get through the bridge, we still need to go a little ways before we get to our destination. Let me check the map again real quick. Whoa, what is this? Seems like a village just spawned here. And all the villagers are suddenly dying. Interesting. Okay, this is Ocean Line. Is that where we want it to go? Yes, number two is Ocean Line. Okay, so... Oh, right here. What train is this? One of the US subway ones. Okay, so I should be able to put the ferry pier somewhere here. And call it good. Connect it up. Wow, just looking at the sightseeing line. There's a level crossing here. Is this like the local platform? Not sure. Oh wait, no, this is the sightseeing section and then up here is the other line. Alright, I just pasted the ferry pier. I think there might be stuff that I need to fix, but looks like for the most part it pasted pretty well. Yeah, wow, I'm impressed. Even the escalators pasted properly and the signs and everything. Wow, nice. I thought there would be more I had to clean up, but this looks pretty good. Okay, now... It's just the bottom section that needs to be pasted in as well. Just putting down some fences as well to mark this as work in progress as I've done in the past. Just so that people don't just randomly walk in here and expect 
fairies to show up. All right, now for the platform rails. I hopefully copied the notes. Yes, I did. Nice. And I, ooh. Why cannot? Oh, probably the nodes are rotated in the wrong way. Yeah. Probably that's the reason. There we go. And then this also got copied. Nice. This is the extra little bit that comes out. And the barrier blocks also copied over properly, which is good as well. So after we fix the nodes... Oh, that's funny. Some of the terrain got copied here as well. I don't need this. This is probably from one of the beaches on the Resort West Pier. Okay, so now we can connect this all the way to the bridge if it's clear. Yeah, this village probably got generated. Okay, which is about here. This is a really long track to connect. And I'm hoping that there are no obstacles in the way. Because as I mentioned earlier, the smoother the track, the better it is for the fairies. So, nothing, nothing. It would be great if it's all clear all throughout. And it looks like it is. Nice. I like that. That's really satisfying. And I know that the bottom of the pier should probably go to the bottom, but yeah, the this part is not either. <laughs> so the first thing to do is to start running the ferries. Hmm, actually, you know what? I should probably... Hmm, I will make a connection here as well. To that left one so that we can run ferries on both sides actually is that necessary I'm trying to think so we got ferries going out and back and then out this way hmm no I'm not gonna do that Okay. Okay. I had a slight change of plans and I realized it might be easier just to show you what I'm doing on the system map directly. So resort west to Jonathan's resort that's existing. I made one route from Ocean Line to Resort West and I made another line from Ocean Line to the resort itself. So yeah, they're all running now. So you see there's two destinations for two different platforms. Perfect. And if all goes well, you should see two different destinations on here. So this one goes to Ocean Line, right? This one goes to Resort West. Oh, I forgot to adjust the acceleration of this siding. Okay, just curious to see. So Ocean Line to Resort West takes 1 minute 14. Wait, why is it much shorter? That doesn't make sense. And then Ocean Line to the Resort is 3 minute 13. Is this up to date? Okay, it probably didn't update because I adjusted the acceleration. So it jumped from 1 minute to 3 minutes. So the extra acceleration to make made the ferry took longer. Okay, so 313. 313. Oh, about the same time. And then 303. 106 for the short one. Okay, that makes sense. 
Now, I think we just need signs because if I'm down here, it's kind of unclear which platform is which. The thing with this area is that there's like no space to put any signs. So we might have to be creative with this. Maybe even just put them on ground level. Hmm. Okay, I decided to just go with a sign like this. Not bad. Does the job. Okay. Let me copy this design. Up here, these ones can be hanging. Yep. Okay, now to copy these signs to the other peers as well. Okay, copy this side as well. Now to the other peer. Alright, it's finished. Now let's take a ride on the ferry. So this side is going to resort west and there's a boat coming so I'm gonna just catch a ride on this side. Technically, the gates here in real life, they don't open until the ferry has completely docked here. But I don't want to bother with, bother with redstone and stuff and the uh, schedule sensors. So I'm just going to leave it like this. All right. The ferry's here, this one's going to resort west, so not to the resort itself. Here we go. So I see a sightseeing train. Alright. <laughs> it looks like I'm standing outside of the ferry. Right, here we go. First passenger ride to and from Ocean Line Ferry Pier, I think. Unless a visitor has kind of sneaked on a, <laughs> a ferry while I wasn't looking. And uh, acceleration is really slow, but I wonder what the top speed will be. So while I'm doing that, just wanted to say thank you everyone for watching this video. I'm gonna wrap up this episode here. We've done a lot of building recently and we've extended the Jonathan's Resort Ferries to Ocean Line as well. So Ocean Line is the interchange between the sightseeing line and the Oculink Yellow Line. Alright, remember that if you want to host a server of your own, Check out Shockbyte, it's a server hosting platform, and use code MTRMOD to get 25% off your first month. We're going about 1.30 and going. Still climbing speed. Okay, make sure to like and subscribe so that you'll be notified of future content. And remember that if you want to join this server and see this for yourself, join the Discord please. Join the Discord. Don't ask in the comments how to join, just join the Discord and the instructions are all there. Hope to see you in the next video and see you on the server as well. Goodbye!